So much to worry about. Sunfall, machines, shards, I need a breath. Greetings adventurers and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. In the last episode we did a lot of stuff. <laughs> it was only a 40 minute or but uh, a lot of things happened, mostly running around. <laughs> we ended up finding Olin's house and using our, our focus inside of his little house thing to find his little secret stash area where he has his little uh, laboratory, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. While we were down there, we talked to Aaron and he found out about our little focus thing and how he was able to see things. He asked us to help him and that's where we're at right now. So we're going to go help Aaron in Red Ridge Pass. And we're going to get to the bottom of what happened to his sister. And that's what he wants to know about. I can't remember anything else that happened in the last episode, but that's the high points. So we are going to, if you wander in the outlands south of here, get on with it. This is going to be a long run. So we are going to not run the whole thing. We're going to stop over here. We're going to find ourselves a broadhead. Make it a little bit easier on ourselves to travel. Okay. Let's get in here nice and stealthy and quiet like. Can I whistle at anybody? Too far away. Oh, we got a strider here too. Hmm. Let's do Oh, that's not a strider. Don't. Let's grab this guy right here. Utilize his services, as it were. Hi! Services utilized. Now we're gonna hop on this thing and get out of here before everybody else attacks him. But before everybody else attacks him. <laughs> we. Cool. And we are. Crashing through a cactus. Holy damn. Okay. Alright. That's pretty sweet, actually. <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> nice. Alright, we are back on track, and now we're just going to run our way through this little village here. Hopefully we don't destroy people like we did that cactus. Get along, little Nacho. Let's go. Let's get a quick save on here first. We kind of screwed that up. And by kind, I mean we really screwed that up. <laughs> Let's hide for a second. That was not what we wanted to do. I don't even know what that was. Oh, it's a long leg. Okay, let's find out what the hell these are. It's a chicken. <sighs> Long time watchers of this channel know my issues with chickens. It's a seven days thing, but... I'm gonna teach you what's up. Oh, yeah. Let's go this way. Let's run. Damn! Easy there, flappy bits. Now your pieces parts are gone, bro. Hey, stop beating up my friend. Oh, he did. Oh, he totally did. You, buddy pal, let's go. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, jeez, we gotta run. Sorry, buddy pal. <laughs> Sucks being expendable. <laughs> Woo. Eat it. Kaboom. That's what you get, sucker. Ah, that's a wing. Didn't want the wing. Wanted not the cactus Just either. Stay out of their way for now. Oh, the damn cactus. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's not a happy. He's not a happy camper. <laughs> Can I search that guy? Or did I? I think I already did. Oh shit, that used to be my friend. He's like, you call me expendable? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, I did, but I regretted it immediately. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel badly about that. <laughs> Stupid chickens. Is that blaze canister over there? I believe so. Nope, metal shards. We're out. Okay, 
Alright, well, now that we're back on Hot 234 Express, let's go. Maybe we'll find something on the way back, or on the way there that's going to be uh, useful equivalent, or replacement, not equivalent. Do I have anything on the way so far? Just this guy right here. I have a Strider right there. Could probably go Strider? What the hell is this thing? Alright. Macaw, mother... I bet you that was an explodey boom. I bet you that was an explodey boom box that I was not supposed to get in the way of. In short, they set a trap and I uh, let them keep their pieces parts to it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, welcome, you sons of bitches. Just kidding. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. It was a racket. We're jumping the racket. Oh yeah, this has to happen. Goodbye, Tha. Boom! Hunt's over. Fight's on. Hope you hate your face. I missed him. Mother fluffer. <laughs> Pin feathers. Uh oh. Dodge. Dodge in the other way, baby. Why? I was trying to slow that down, but I guess that's not gonna happen. Oh, damn. This dude got some ouchy power. So do I. You hit hard, but I hit harder. Boy. Chickens. <laughs> Why did it have to be chickens? Like snakes with Indiana Jones. <laughs> Why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> I get a sparker thing, but I'm looking for those other things. <laughs> I know that's incredibly vague. Actually, I want to see what these do. Uh oh. Is that a. Oh, yeah. You are totally gonna die, bro. Oh yeah, this is, that's the arrows that don't do a lot of damage. But this one does. Missed it. Get ready for the shadow stick. Yep. Give me that one. Ah! You guys are dumb. It would be really nice if I was able to uh, get my arrows back. I just don't understand why that's not a thing. You'd think that that would be a thing. We need to get my arrows back. I guess not. <laughs> Alright, what else we got over here? A corrupted dumb thingy. A uh, pig. Um, a broadhead. Love left stuff. Mm, we can go claim another broadhead. Or befriend another broadhead, I should say. <laughs> Yoink. 
He's not a fan. He's not happy. Oh, not good. He charged it, it did. Diving. Bro, it's cool, bro. We're, everything's cool, bro. Stop, man. What are you doing? Should have left it alone. Oh, damn it. Don't do it. Just, no, you did it. You did it. You totally did it. There's a wall there, dumbass. Found it. Should've just ran. Should've just ran. Run. Should ran, run, run, ran. <laughs> oh, what is all this? What is that? Is that a cultist? Good, good. Let's watch them get annihilated. Oh, if I'm not careful, I too shall get annihilated. A ravager. To the end. Let's go to the Pokedex and see what this thing does. <laughs> Broadhead, don't need it. A Ravager, what do you do? A lot of damage. Freeze canister. Shock. Tear. Alright, uh, yeah, that sucks. Let's, um, let's avoid that guy. Ooh. I wonder, which override was it that was down here? Oh, the one I need to get that one. Bro, if I do that override, if I get that cauldron, I'll be good to go. I got that tall deck behind me, too. Alright, let's just, uh... What the hell is that, dude? Oh, it's a shell walker. Never mind. I don't know. I got a shield. We are not going to sit here and enjoy this, but we're just gonna go. I would love to sit there and just watch those cultists get annihilated, but, um, later. Because that would be awesome to watch. But when they're done with them, where do you think they're going to go next? <laughs> Are those. Lancehorn. What's a Lancehorn do? I know, it's just like, ooh, what does this button do? Drill horns. That sounds devious. A lot of things do a like a lot of tear damage. But uh Yeah. Those are really expensive arrows to make. Are those cultists again or are they uh, oh, that's Aaron. Oh we should probably go help him. <laughs> Sir You can't take that watcher on, bro. I got some serious doubts about your uh, abilities. <laughs> whenever you're ready, bro. Just whenever you're, whenever you're ready. To... Don't worry, I got him. I'm glad that's over with. Thanks for the help. Really? Really? <laughs> really, bro? <laughs> Come on something. over here and have a word. Come on over. Let's hurry and lens. Hold up. You can wait for me for a second, bro. Hey, come on, what are you waiting for? A uh, written embossed invitation. That is what I'm waiting for. What, you don't feel like talking? And go. What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not going to risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so... no. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you're thinking straight, at least. Don't get used to it. Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? 
But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. You know, maybe she thought that... Uh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some shadow carja cowards. It was an ambush. The shadow carja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Aaron. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, they'll be sorry too. You don't have any idea why she left in the middle of the night? No, but it must have been urgent. A message, a report of some new Shadow Karja threat, I don't know. Why would the Shadow Karja do this? Because they hate us, and Ursa most of all. She teamed up with Avad to kick their asses out of Meridian. They've been licking their wounds for two years, but they finally found a way to get back at her. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. Finally, some pep in your step. Why would Ursa come all the way out here? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cleft. Almost there. Uh, this is it, where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy this artifact like of yours can find a clue or something. Please. Arrows scattered there. I need to find the bastards that Those did this. Those bloodstains are not the kind that would pull around a corpse. A Shadow Karja spear. There must be Shadow Karja armor. It's perfectly sharp. Never seen action. They look like smears. They look good as new. Never fired. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? This stain forms a line. As if blood dripped off the edge of something. Like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. If it's not the Karja, then who? Also, how did you not see those cart marks before? <laughs> who was the guy in charge of this last time? Was it you, Aaron? <laughs> Were you the one in charge of the investigation last time? Get why they wanted Ursa dead. But why fake an ambush? There's more to this. And we're gonna figure it out. Everything good to go, because I got a weird feeling about this. I got a 
I got a hunch that things are about to go not so good for us. Uh, yes, 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 indeed. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? On me! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that went way wide. Pick them up, one by one. Oh, I'm picking them off. Cast my friend. Uh oh, what's that? Ugly. I think it's calling in machines. Get ready. We're close. Give it everything you got. The hell was? Oh shit! Oh, damn. Swing him. Just keep swinging. I cannot. Get away from me! Yeah, dear. Booty butt. Whoop! Pow! <laughs> oh, Jesus, that did not. What is going on? Dude, I'm getting like. If I could do something, I gotta move. Got that. Got it. Running? Running's fine. Running's a damn good idea, though. Whew. Yeah. Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. All right, we're going to loot up the things that these guys just were. Because, uh, why not? Oh, it was a Ravager. Oh. Those leather straps. So much blood. Those rocks, they're shattered. Aw. Hold up. I'm gonna give this a whirl. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I wish I'd seen that before. <laughs> nice. What do you know? Let's check some stuff out. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. Or since. Just kidding. A lot of people died here. A massacre. There seems to be a lot of that in this game. Armor straps. Cut with a knife. And a rock with blood on it. These look like vanguard weapons. There's no blood on them. Ursa's men didn't fight back. What else am I missing? Ah. Uh. Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. Let's check it out then, shall we? There, by the tripod. A used power cell. 
Is there more? Oh, okay. I was like, what else do I gotta look for? <laughs> what else is there to check out? Go. This is Ursus helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torture me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. But why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursa's face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut, as if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor, someone around the same size, and mutilated it enough so it could have been anyone, even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. Yeah. Alrighty then. Are we back on track? Yep. Palace of the Sun. Okay, we'll do this one. Can I fast travel? I would like to fast travel, actually. <laughs> you know what? This is getting me closer as I can get it. Let's go. Level up! Damn, we got a lot of XP for that. Unless we were just like super, super close to leveling up already. Very much interest, yeah. Wait, coming through, excuse me. Whoa. Yeah, it's quite the palace, huh? No one goes into the palace without an invitation. Wait. What? Oh, this guy. Ha! Hello. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not Just here to intrigue you. Too late. And now Outlander Sun King passed by some Outlander woman. Unexciting to be two hours and this Nora goes to the front of the line. Oh, Joss. Oh, life sucks. Oh. <laughs> Can you go faster, bro? Or... A light job. Ignore them. 
Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. Ooh, dessert. <laughs> I'll be lucky to just get one. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Oseron. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Oseron had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliff. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Oseron. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well? Errant, Murad, let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. So, why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. And she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies, I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. Or were you? I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. <laughs> Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Your politics seem very complicated. 
The Asaram are friends, but enemies too. I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans in the claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination, and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. Pitchcliff. Aloy. How can I be of service? It's obvious that you're an advisor to the Sun King, but what is it you do exactly? Whatever is needed, of course. Are you always so evasive? It depends. You were right about Avad. He seems... genuine. He is the Sun King. I serve him the best I can. What else would you have me say? Huh. Did you serve the last one as best you could, too? Well, I served him to his enemies. It was the best I could do for the Sundom. What did you do? Nothing I could be blamed for. <laughs> Sounds to me like you're a spy. There are many helpful voices in the Sundom and beyond. I like to think of myself as a good listener. So why do they call you Blameless Maraud? Well, it depends on who you mean by they, and what they might wish to blame me for. <sighs> Talking to you is tiring. So they say. Huh. What will I find at the border? An outpost full of Asaram, most of whom want nothing to do with Durval. Still, he inspires great loyalty in those who fought with him against the last Sun King. He will not be caught alone. And don't forget, he is a master craftsman. Nothing delights him more than his dangerous toys. What makes you so sure Durval did this to Ursa? I don't care for sure or certain. I prefer likely or probably. How many Osirum are clever enough for this ruse? Capable of building the weapon you described? Who hate Ursa so? More than one? Not likely. Durval? Quite probably. Even if people think he's dead? That is surely another reason to be suspicious of certain words. Good point. I don't really like the guy. He seems to... Uh, actually, I do kind of like the guy. I'm not going to lie to you. This guy's... Like, he's so cryptic, but at the same time, it's just like... Ugh, I don't trust you, but I have to. But if I slip up like the last king did, or whatever even though I'm not in his position like what could you truly do because I don't think I want to know I have to go then you must hi let's talk to a guy who can actually finish a sentence it's not my dick. so I thought Ursa was dead and I thought Durval was dead dead doesn't seem to mean what it used to or maybe I'm just an ass whatever all I know is that it's time to find my sister and get some payback I hope Murad's guy grabs us a lead. Did Ursa ever tell you anything about Durval? Well, we were both under his command for a while. 
sort of. Helped him recruit an army to take out the mad Sun King. But then he got real creepy with Ursa. Needless to say, she wasn't interested, but he wouldn't let it go. Not to mention the fact that we realized he wanted to murder every Karja, not just the bad ones. Long story short, he's a grazer-licking dumbbag. Hmm. Avad seems committed to finding your sister. Yeah, those two got along. And some people say they shacked up, but I, I don't buy it. Seems a little skinny for her. Oh, okay, some bad images are forming in my head. Let's just focus on finding her. And kicking Durval's ass. <laughs> I'd better go. Don't stand me up in Pitchcliff, okay? Ursa needs us. Heading there now. Alright, so we're gonna run our happy booties out to Pitchcliff. It's gonna take a very long time to get there. So I'll probably just skip ahead unless anything really awesome happens. So I'll see you in Pitchcliff. Well done. You've taken out watchers. Watch out, Flintock! What the hell? Oh shit! Oh damn! Oh! I don't know what I'm shooting at. It hit its ass though. Dropped him. Those are not Nora. But they are gonna die. We shall see to it. Oh, bro, really? You even saw him coming. <laughs> oh, we need to kill this guy real quick. Yeah, got it. Give me this. Thank you. Are you Nora? Nope. That stupid flappy thing. You. I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. Oh, damn. <laughs> I drained the entire thing, but damn it, it was worth it. <laughs> she needs help. Either she needs help, or she's gonna thank me for the big stuff. I feel wrung out in this heat. I don't want to get a quest from her. Wait, can you come here for a moment? No, no, I cannot. That was fun. Can you come here for a moment? Oh, you got me through. Oh. Thank you. Okay. She gave me a, re a reward box. Fifty. Check that in just a second. You, reward box. Nice. Ah, uh, nice. Very nice. Sparker. Fatty meat and wire. Hell yeah. I'll take it. Polished ancient job. Forty-five. Yes. That's gravy. All right, let's get out of here. All right, Aaron, let's get this road on the show. Once I get to you, of course. Hi, sir. Whoa, look at that get up, huh? Some guard you are. I just rock up in here you've never seen before. Like, ah, she looks clean. This must be Pitchcliff. Marad's agent should be at the marketplace by now. Let's get there. I would kill the turkey and the goose, but I feel like it's somebody's property. <laughs> the hell? Ah, oh, I zigged when I should have zagged. Hmm. 
No sign of Marat's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. Mine. Please. What you got for me, buddy? Ah, he looks like he's a upstanding gentleman. Carja Shadow. Nice. Nice, bro. I think I need to get some better clothing. What do you guys think? Let's get some more clothing if we can. Good or better, best stuff. She looked cold. <laughs> the arrow breaker medium. Studded leather and hammered steel protect the wearer from projectile attacks. No true Rossaron pulls out the arrowheads. That's funny. <laughs> That's some cool outfits. Not that one. What's the highest Osiris we got? Damn, 1100 and a crystal braiding. Dang, dude. Oh, I like that one. Just going for looks now. I don't even care. It's like, oh, this is nice. This is a nice look for her. <laughs> This one's 280, but you know, I'm really a uh, not really a huge fan of what I'm seeing here. Not really a fan. I do want to look for these guys. Yep, get 21 of those bad boys right there. A golden fast travel pack. What does this do? Unlimited fast travel to discovered campfires and settlements throughout the world. Oh, I botched it horribly. <laughs> Anymore. Let's, let's sell some stuff real quick. Cool. All right. A golden fast travel pack. I really hope that that does work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Pleasure like doing business with you. Oh, that's a dummy. I was like, what is wrong with your legs? I'm like, that's not. That's not a. That's not a. Okay. What are we doing here? Where are we headed? Another box. Metal vessel. Okay, my camera is like all up on her right now, and I'm not a fan of that. Damn. Okay, let's check the map. Where's the map telling me we gotta go? Somewhere around this general vicinity, <laughs> right here. <laughs> because why not? All right, well, let's put that away. In a minute, I guess. Whenever you're ready. Feeling frisky enough to put it away. Uh, Maybe my focus will see something. Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. Why am I an idiot? Because I forgot I had the focus. Aha. Let's track them. More tracks. There's no... I think someone followed whoever we're following. That sounds bad. We're about to find this guy murdered, aren't we? Yep. Well, shit. Has to be Murad's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. <laughs> that might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. But my men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. We are gonna go. Wonder which clan is most disappointed. I'm waiting for the uh, the reveal of his sister actually being the one who is in, in charge of everything. Damn, bro. Why is there always so much running? Oh, I was already on a road. <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> I admit, I'm gonna try to find another road. Maybe even a. Oh, wait. I'm already on a road. <laughs> Okay. 
Oh. Kill, a stealth kill, a killed kill, it's dead. Man. So uh, wow, that's kinda cool. With the little bird guy all up in there. Do 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 you saw nothing? Lots of nothing. Yeah, throw it that way. Calm, calm. You want me to be calm. <laughs> Dude, crit strike. Boom! <laughs> Dude! Alright. Do that again. <laughs> you a little stuck there, sir? Rock me. Ah. Okay, hold on. Do I have which which one of these do I have? Do I have the uh, the upper critical hit plus? Yeah, I got that one. Cool. I feel like I'm actually gonna do some damage. You know what? Let's just run. Yeah, let's go. Running. We are running. <laughs> oh damn, this thing snoop is like all up on my head. <laughs> Snoot Booper. Damn, that was close. Whew. I'd say take a second, but you can't because now we have these damn birds that are all around us. Where did they go? I just saw it. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them or, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back. We're going in. A long leg. A ravager. I can't hack them, but I might be able to un. Find a way to get close enough, and then we have to find a way to get them loose. Video gaming have lured me to this moment. Just kidding. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. There's gotta be a way to get those loose. Got to be. It's just got to be. Let's see if I can find it. Those come back over to 
that one. Is there a dude in here? Is there a way for me to climb that? Connection between the chains and free and be really able to impact. So, am I shooting it or am I going to hit it? I'm going to assume I have to just shoot it because that'd be dumb if I had to go over there and hit it. That'd be stupid. Chicken leg. Chicken hawk! You know what? I don't like this guy already. Let's just, uh, let's just get rid of this guy. Yep. That's pretty much what I wanted to do. Can I shoot the chain? They're Vol's men. It's about to get ugly. I hope so. Whoop. Oh, I thought that I shot the thing. Why are you coming at me, bro? Hey, man! Hey! Come on, dude! What the shit? <laughs> Intruders! Unleash the machines! Shoot their chains! Oh! It's them that's supposed to do it. Well, that just sucks to be me then, doesn't it? Well, that sucks. That is not how I thought that was supposed to happen. Oh, you gotta be kidding me right now. Don't Shit. lose your wits or anything else. What? Is that a bird? Is that an air bird? Chica, come on. Ah, you flashy little bastard. Plenty more to say about. Oh, good god, that was insane. All right, let's just enter the fray and start swinging, I guess. Who the hell keeps shooting me? Oh, oh that's not our guy. I thought that was our guy. Out here. You, ow! Hey, man! Ow! Hey, man! Ow! <laughs> Not fun. Shut up! No one asked you. <laughs> Nobody asked for your opinion. They just wanted you to die. She must be around here somewhere. Let's find her. Oh, she's around here. Okay, so that was not what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> Let me know if you also made that same stupid mistake when you played this game. <laughs> health potion, though? Ah, you know what? We're going to use a health potion. That was a full health potion. That was the wrong one. It's great. Good, clean, quality fun right there. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Not. Eh. I know this is not the time to be like collecting every single damn thing that I find, but you know what? Modifications are full. A lot of my stuff is actually full, I think. Huh. I keep forgetting that I have that thing, and I'm so glad it keeps telling me that I have it. Okay, let's break down some resources and crap and then we'll uh, be on our way. Point, point, point. Wabam! Just that backhand is insane. Combat override increase the time a machine will remain overridden indefinitely. I kind of like that one. Let's do that one. And then I'm going to try to do this next one, the knockdown on the next, next available time that we can. But for now, we're going to hop up back into this. I'm in, I'm, I'm in this right now, guys. Once I get done scavenging everybody. I am calling it right now. I'm pretty sure that she's behind everything. I'm calling it. Alright, 
Let's just go. I actually haven't been this far in the game yet, so... Oh shit, you know what? You know what? I really want to kill those things, just because I have a feeling. If we don't now, we will be shortly. Damn, there's a hell of a jump. I'm looking for stuff to... Oh, yeah, sure. Let's do this. Oh, I tagged it already. What are you... What are you doing, buddy? Uh, okay, we'll just go through. You gotta eat dirt. <laughs> well, that wasn't subtle. Shitting me like this dude. No mercy. Mercenary heavy. This dude's a level 22. Let's go. Pop a little fire, asshole. Damn. Oh. You know what? I knew I should have taken it. Oh, that hurt. Oh, damn. Alright, bro. Let's just flank this dickhead and get it over with. That's not a... that's not our flankable guy. Oh, hi. Oh, Jesus! Who knew that he had uh, that kind of thing? I would like to get out of that hole now, thank you much. Ow. Ow. Oh. Bro. Just die, bro. There's some must be in there. We have to get through. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. She puts those on and all she hears is getting jiggy with it. <laughs> I'm gonna probably regret this, but... Uh, I want this thing dead. If anything happens, we don't have to worry about that also. Check this over here. Metal shards, sir. Sparker. I actually came over here to check this ravager and ended up advancing the story. <laughs> it's like it's a sign for me to stop dinking around. I'm okay with this. Oh, c come on, let me... Oh, jeez. I'll see you guys when I get to their side.
my turn. Ursa! Durval tried to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> No. Now listen, Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I, I will. I promise. Be you damn well better, little brother. Ursa. No, no. Please. <laughs> I won't let you down. I promise. Aaron, I'm... I'm so sorry. We've got to find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. I'll, uh, I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. Not gonna wait for it to tell me this time. <laughs> Such a strange device. It's beautifully crafted. Supply crate. Sonic device. This machine's been picked apart with precision. grab these boxes real quick so I was wrong I'm not too big to admit it <laughs> she's behind the whole thing nope nope she's not <laughs> she's absolutely not okay I didn't pick up all the things in here so I'm gonna do some breakdown some inventory and management and then pick up right where I'm supposed to I hope What's Durval learned from all his tinkering? Probably lots. I want to know. All right, let's ask our boy over here. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister. You're a boss hog, my guy. Boss hog. Alright. Alright, so we completed that quest. And I'm gonna leave it on this one. We're gonna next next where I'm either gonna do this whole sun shall fall one, or I'm gonna pick up where I left off and try to find Olin. I haven't decided yet, which is also why I'm gonna leave it here. So that's gonna do it for this episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. My name is Chris for Comfy Gaming. You can find me on Twitter at Comfy Gamer, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, adventurers.